Dr. Shaksena, he's a practicing physician, uh, a pathologist, and having a experience for like uh, more than 25 years. Uh, just for your information, he himself is a graduate from the prestigious uh, Armed Force Medical College, Pune, and uh, he has uh, written books. He's into you know teaching. Uh, he does a lot of things. He wears a lot of hats. So welcome, sir, uh, today on the Moksh platform. And uh, today, uh, if you can give a perspective to students on uh, you know the ex considerations and the expectations, you know when they choose a private medical college in the Corona time, sir. Well, thank you for your kind words, uh, Mr. Chirag. I'm delighted to be on this platform. Well, uh, Corona is there today, but it will vanish more or less, but the career cannot stop. Uh, you need to take your decision as of now, otherwise you will lose an year unnecessarily. Uh, well, the question is that uh, whether you should take an option and uh, go outside and uh, start your medical career, whether it is in India, well, being an Indian, and uh, India is a choice of um, you know comfort. You will be doing it from your home. But if you cannot make it in India, uh, I have made around 3,000 doctors across the globe, uh, having taught many, many nationality students. So if the US is the goal, then definitely uh, you should go for the US assembly. Well, medicine is always uh, learnt, never taught. So the ball is always in your court. It is never in the professor's court or in the medical school's court. The, the only option what you have to think about or the only thing what you have to think about is that you will be away from your home. So you have to be independent. Correct that dependency on the parents, on the friends. Uh, that has to be going away slowly so that you are comfortable in a new home in a new country definitely if you do your mbbs from abroad it will broaden your view automatically just by doing it from there it will expose you to an international platform at a very young age it will make you realize that you were in a well till now and you are now in a ocean medicine is taught more or less in the same way as it is taught in India, whether it is um, America or Europe or Africa. But the only difference is that uh, when you do it from outside, your perspective towards medicine changes drastically because you see more of foreign patients, you see more of diseases which are more commonly in those continents as compared to the um, Asian continent. Uh, the other thing what you have to look for is that your parents should be more than ready than you yourself because once you are away from home uh, with that modern technology they can always catch up with you your parents should have confidence in you that you can survive on your own you can look after yourself your finances talking about finances well it is slightly expensive to do the medicine from the foreign country soil as compared to India as far as I know but then at the end of the day you are an international medical graduate and that broadens your horizon it builds up your confidence in multifarious ways and if you decide to practice uh, after completing your MBBS from outside and coming back to India that's also a very good option so everything is in your hand but uh, you have to decide it right now. Corona is temporary. The life is temporary. So you cannot just sit and say that I will wait for the corona to subside and then I will take my decision. Time doesn't wait for anyone. The most powerful thing in the world is time. So you have to take your decision right now. Medicine is a very serious career. It has to be planned uh, very meticulously and uh, up to the PG level. Now gone are those days when we talk, we talked about the PG, the post graduation, the MD and MS. Now we talk about the super specialization. It's an era of super specialization. You will realize it more when you do your medicine from a foreign soil because people out there are very specific, very aware, very educated. So that is the kind of thing. And uh, there's no uh, room for hopelessness in medicine, guys. If you want to be a medico, you should be ready for everything from right now. Okay. 
population has increased that doesn't mean that the competition has necessarily increased i take it always like that okay every generation feels that there is more of population and so we are at loss but then the seats are also increasing the options are also increasing the medical schools abroad are so many out there there are so many countries out there okay so and if you're good you're good i mean if 100 people are appearing and out of that 90 people are not up to the mark and you are so you have to appear only for competing with the 10 of the good ones if you're good you're good you'll stand out okay now please remember that uh, the national medical commission india's regulator of medical education comes into existence it has replaced mci the mci has been dissolved so please remember now the curriculum in the undergraduate medical studies by and large across the globe is competency based and uh, you have to remember that okay distance is just a number nowadays as i've told you technology is so high five you guys are more comfortable than our generation to pick up a ipad to pick up a mobile and give a video call video call video chat so please remember that technology has revolutionized the way we learn and teach medicine especially corona has done that you all know that it was always thought for so many centuries that medicine cannot be taught online but that has been dissolved that concept has been abolished so it is a it is a it's a treat to see and uh, learn uh, new concepts as you go by correct well medicine is tough and let me tell you it is a fact in the guinness book of world record you can check it for yourself that mbbs from india is the toughest professional course across the globe so you have to pull up your socks really very very fast okay you have to start burning your midnight oil right from the first year you cannot think that i'll start working hard at the fourth year or the third year or the final year no it doesn't work anyway correct all these subjects are interconnected you have the anatomy knowledge physiology knowledge and biochemistry knowledge then only you will understand medicine so it is not that uh, okay the first year is cool it's a honeymoon period no medicine has to be learnt on a regular basis repetition is the key to success well look at the uh, websites of the medical schools out there in the world there are so many out there in so many countries okay i've taught in many of them so be very cautious look into the nitty-gritty details of what they are claiming and what is there on ground okay it is always good to have some kind of a connection back home in india who can guide you uh, who can help you with uh, choosing the right one not getting cheated because there's a lot of uh, fraud also across this uh, whole spectrum so check out their sites check out the nmc and the wdoms sites and check out what hospital uh, is connected or affiliated with the medical school you would like to choose because faculty is very important okay the building is not that important i've always maintained it is always the faculty and the patients okay the best teacher in the world is the patient sir william osler quoted around two centuries back okay when you see a patient you remember a patient for a lifetime no matter how much i tell you that this is a peptic ulcer it looks like this it looks like this through pictures but once you see a real peptic ulcer and a real patient on the bedside you will never forget it okay also check out the language of the country okay certain countries uh, languages have to be learned because you are going to be docs docs have to speak doctor they have to interact okay so uh, check about that check about the safety level of that country okay safety level is very important especially for the females okay how much duration flight is there for to and fro that will also make a difference because once you start your medicine uh, taking leaves is not more uh, as easy as it was in school for you okay i told you the seriousness of it okay even if you get a leave you will get limited leave so uh, look at the distance the flight distance if you are thinking about going outside look at the hostel okay uh hostels should be good because the studying is mostly done at the hostels look at the food guys food is a very very big option take it from me 18 years outside i've been in india okay uh, so food if not good food hungry man angry man so that should not be the case okay ask them options if they have if they have some kind of indian food which is being made or at least some kind of asian food which can suffice your palate labs are important guys medicine is practically practiced that's why it is called practically practiced 
okay it's not in the books it's in the books in the initial few years of your career but after that there is a live patient walking up to your office so practicals are important the mortuary is important the dissection hall is very very important the post mortem rooms are important all the labs, pathology labs, biochemistry labs, microbiology labs, the library has to be really very good. Not a namesake library. Many a times we find namesake libraries, just five, six books are kept. And whatever other journals are kept, they are all redundant, old, expired information is there. Auditoriums, I would say, is an option, okay. You you can, it is a, it's like a feather in a cap if you've got a very good auditorium. But lecture halls, yes. Research is a very important aspect of a medical student's life today than it was in the yesterday years when we were students. Research, if you do research right from the first year and it is encouraged and it is doable, not every research needs a very extensive kind of uh, financial support or a lab support. You can do a review of the articles, you can write uh, uh, review journals, you can write review journal articles, you can do retrospective research, you can do theoretical research, you can do data analysis. There are so many things which you can do just sitting in your um house in fact in your room you don't need you just need a uh, data from somewhere and you can analyze it and publish it please remember the times have come uh, wherein if there are two candidates for one position and uh, the candidate with research will get it definitely definitely in the uh, in the foreign location the research is very important publish or perish that is the last word for research for my side well, absolutely uh, sir uh, this was a good uh, you know small uh, you know but a very important uh, piece of information which you've shared so students if there are any questions let me quickly pick up you know uh, for sir uh, you know uh, because he has an extensive experience you know uh, teaching in multiple countries and dealing with students with different nationalities so definitely uh, let us quickly ask him any questions they have you know? Sir, though, uh, one question which students are asking, how important is to, you know, prepare for these uh, next 10 USMLE from the first year? Well, it is very important. The earlier you start, the better it is because medicine, um, whether you like it or not, is the most voluminous professional course, as I was telling you, in the whole world. Medicine can never be learnt fully. It is just, you know, if you know, even after 25 years, I just know maybe 2% of medicine. So it can never be finished. So the earlier you start, the better off it is for you because it is endless, it is seamless and um, you have to start very, very early. The earlier you start, you are better off. Your confidence level is high. Sir, sir, one question which a um, lot of students are asking, uh, you know, does it make sense to take a drop or, uh, you know, better to start this year? Well, as I told you, don't take a drop. Okay, the, the word is drop us drop, top or stop. Okay, we get on the top of the corona. Corona cannot take away your life. Even if it takes away your life, then you're gone. At least you're alive and kicking. You're young. Okay. I'm sitting in a hospital surrounded by Corona from everywhere. There are 100 patients in the hospital. Out of them, 50 are Corona patients. Right now. Right now. So that doesn't mean that I will not go to the hospital or give up my career. You see, medicine takes a lot of things from you as an individual on multiple levels. So don't be afraid of this. Okay. Fight it back, take precautions, and uh, you have to start. Don't wait for anyone in life. Don't wait for, take your decision right now. Don't waste a year. I had never wasted a year. I never wasted a year. Never wasted a year. Never wasted a day even. So if Corona is taking you aback, I don't know the reason. You have not quoted the reason. Don't drop. Had I been in your place, I would not have dropped. Because you've got multiple options out there. Okay, you can try. You can start at least trying right now. You might fail. But failure is the first stepping stone to success. But dropping a year, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. Sir, sir one question is, you know, how to kind of convince parents because parents are uh, not agreeing if I have to, you know, kind of study abroad. What do you say about that? Well, that's uh, very personal. But the first thing and the last thing I will tell you is I'm the only child of my parents and I've been abroad. Uh, well, uh, as a career man, not as a student for last 18 years, parents are parents. But then make them realize that this is my career and I'm going to do good. Good for you, good for the family, good for the society, good for the country, good for the globe. And if I'm sitting in a well, I will always remain a frog. If I jump out of the well, then I can become a whale. 
you see it is slightly difficult for the parents to get convinced that the child can survive as an adult outside especially with the female students this is a very common question i encounter across the platforms that the parents are very difficult to be convinced but then you have to buy their confidence by behaving maturely by behaving confidently that i can take care of myself okay and maybe maybe if the country is allowing you and your, one of your parents is ready to accompany you take them along take one of your parents along for two months let them see that you can fend for yourself and then the parent can come back correct parents have to be told that i am now big enough to take care of myself i'm gonna be a doc guys i have to take care of so many patients correct Yes, sir. It was very, you know, encouraging session. Uh, a short, sweet, but very important points which you have, you know, uh, definitely mentioned. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, first of all, to be part of this, uh, you know, session, and uh, you know, there are almost uh, 500 plus students who are listening to you, and uh, I really appreciate you to be part of this session. Uh, thank you very much, and definitely, students, if you are deciding to be part of your medical school in india or abroad you will definitely see dr saxena on the moks academy platform where he uh, does teach our usmle students uh, the important subject of pathology you know which is like the foundation of our usmle step one examination so thank you very much sir and uh, see you uh, soon uh, in the next session sir thank you thank sir. you thank, thank you, you. Thank you. Pleasure, thank, uh, thank you thank you